Marcel from LessonsWithMarcel.com, and I'm here to talk to you about... Alright, in this video I'm assuming you're familiar with Tony Rice's arrangement of the Norman Blake song Church Street Blues. A lot of people consider it flat picking at its finest. Um, however, in this video I will not be teaching you how to play Church Street Blues, but if you're interested in a tab, I do have one on my website. It's LessonsWithMarcel.com slash Church Street Blues. It's completely free. Uh, now on to the four things. Alright, let's talk about the first six notes. They're a basic cross-picking pattern with a hammer-on all out of the C position. Now those six notes work great as a kickoff, uh, especially if you're in the key of C and the melody you're playing starts on the fifth note of the scale or on the G string. Um, here's an example using the standard More Pretty Girls Than One. When Tony's break goes over the chorus of the tune, or over the uh, I got myself a rockin' chair part of the lyric, um, he does a run into the four chord. Now it's just a C major scale with a brief suspension over the four chord, but it's an excellent way to get from C to F. Here's an example of me using it in the, uh, in the standard Dixie. Sometimes when Tony plays Church Street Blues, uh, especially when he's doing it live, he does a substitution in the first chord change. Now that chord that sounds so cool, that's a major flat 7 chord. Or in other words, it's a major chord a whole step below the tonic chord. Uh, in this case, that chord is a B flat chord in between a C chord and an F chord. It's a great transition. Now, normally when you see this flat 7 chord, um, it happens in the key of G, and you'll recognize it in tons of bluegrass standards like Red Haired Boy, Salt Creek, and Big Mon. It's just everywhere. If you want to use that same trick, you can use it in the key of G using an F chord between G and C. A suspended chord is a chord that has no third, instead it has a second or a fourth interval. If that doesn't make sense to you, uh, there's a link below to my website where I teach a lesson about suspended chords. Now, multiple times in Church Street Blues, Tony uses those suspensions briefly, but if you take them to their furthest kind of logical conclusion, you can actually use the suspended chords to imply other chords. Now the three chords you'll likely see in songs that are in C major or the C position are C, F, and G major. Now the interesting thing about those second two chords is they're super similar to C sus2 and C sus4. So the take home from this section is that if you can, you should substitute an F chord for a C sus4 chord or a G chord for a C sus2 chord. Alright, remember to practice these concepts and try to incorporate them into your playing immediately so you don't forget them. Uh, if you like this video, you can subscribe for more content. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram at Lessons with Marcel. Um, you can also find even more content on my website, LessonsWithMarcel.com. I have tons of free lessons, licks, chord charts, etc., etc., all about bluegrass, jazz, country, and blues guitar. So it's really anything you might need to get better at American guitar styles. Thanks for watching.